Hi, in this video we will be discussing about how to convert a fraction into decimal. This is the fifth video in the series of the videos we are discussing about the decimal number representation and uh, how actually we represent the one tenth, the one hundredth fractions into decimal. So in this video we will be converting more fractions to decimal. Let's try and recall what we have learned in the previous sessions. I would highly recommend you to go through the previous videos if you have not gone through them before we jump on to this fraction to the decimal. So here we have learned that 1 tenth is represented in a decimal as 0 0.1 1 hundredth is represented by 0 0.01 So now if I have to represent this 11 by 5 into a decimal, my task would be easy if I convert them into a denominator which is more of 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So let's try and convert 11 by 5 into a denominator of 10. So for that I have to multiply 5 by 2. If I multiply 5 by 2, I have to multiply the numerator also by 2 so that this 2 cancels with this 2 and I am remaining, I am multiplying this number by 1 so that this number remains the same and this gives me 22 by 10. Now, it's already discussed in the previous session that if we have a 10, then it's like representing 2.2. That means I am moving only one place, one tenth place and trying and representing it in a decimal number. Let's try and take another example. This is the first one. One half. So to convert into a denominator of 10 or 100, let's talk about 10. It's easily converted into 10. I have to multiply this 2 by 5. If I am multiplying the denominator by 5, I have to multiply the numerator also by 5. So this gives me 5 by 10. And I can easily convert into 0.5. What I am doing is here very simple. I am just taking, it's like dividing it by 10 or it's 5 parts of 10. So it has to move only the 1 tenth portion or the dot should be represented on the one tenth place here it's like here if you see it's like 1 by 10 so what I'm doing is I'm just shifting one place the tenth place this is the tenth place and here it's 1 by 100 so I have to move two places so here this is 100th place and this is one tenth place and then I have put a dot so that rule applies everywhere let's consider the third one it's 200 plus 60 plus 5. That is a simple addition. I came across 265. No, I have to add 1 by 10 to it. So that gives me. Let's convert this 265 into a number whose denominator is 10 and try and add 1 by 10 to it. To convert this into 10, consider this. This is just like 1 into 10 here. So, I have to multiply by 10 here. So, I got a number 2650 divided by 10 plus 1 by 10. So, this gives me 2651 divided by 10. As it is divided by 10, I can easily write 265.1. Let's try and do some other examples. It's 3, 3, 3 by 5. This is mixed fraction. Let us first convert into an improper fraction. 5, 3 is a 15. So 3, 3 by 5. I am representing it as an improper fraction of 18 by 5. So the thumb rule is to convert it into a denominator of 10. For that I am multiplying and dividing by 2. So this gives me 13 
sorry 5 to the 10 and 18 to the 36 I have to move one decimal place as is decide uh, sorry one place values as it is divided by 10 so this gives me 3.6 let's talk about the next one 4 to the 8 and 1 9 by 2 if you are having any confusion converting this mixed fraction into decimal number or sorry fraction improper fractions I would suggest you to go to the chapter 7th of standard 6 where we have already explained the fractions how do we convert the mixed fractions into improper fraction so this 9 by 2 again to get the denominator of 10 I have to multiply it 2 with 5 so for the same I have to multiply the numerator also by 5 this gives me 45 by 10 and then I get 4.5 this is only 1 tenth that is I'm moving only the tenths place now after discussing about the decimal numbers where we only have 1 tenth into consideration let's talk about somewhere we have to consider it hundredth also so here we have a denominator with hundreds this will give me 20 plus 929 plus 4 by 10 plus 1 by 100 so to add this I have to convert this number with a denominator of 100 how to add fractions we already discussed in the fractions chapter so let's try and do that to convert this into 100 I have to multiply 29 with 100 to convert 10 into 100 I have to multiply numerator and denominator by 10 again so this becomes 40 and plus 1 so this comes to 2941 divided by 100 now if you see this is divided by 100 it's a 100th value so here I have to move by 100th value 1 10th value and then put the decimal point Okay, so this value is 29.41 now let's take another example 137 plus 5 by 100 to convert this 137 with a denominator of 100 I have to multiply numerator by 100 100 and this gives me 13705 divided by 100 so the rule move 100th place 1 tenth place and put the decimal point let's try and do the third one it is 7 by 10 6 by 100 4 by 1000 7 by 10 6 by 100 4 by 1000 as 1000 is the biggest decimal oh sorry denominator we try and convert all the numbers into something divided by 1000 so to convert 10 into 1000 I have to multiply 100 so if this becomes numerator also I have to multiply by 100 so 700 plus 100 if I have to convert into 1000 I have to multiply it by 10 so here the numerator also will be multiplied by 10 plus 4 so this gives me 764 by 1000 or you move the ones, uh, 1000th place 100th place 1 10th place to actually put the decimal number so this will be So, if it is divided by 100, you have to play, start with 
the last value as 100th value. 100th value, 110th value and try and put the decimal. If it is divided by 1000, you have to start with 1000th value, 100th value, 110th value and try and put the decimal. So this is the simple rule for this. Now let's try and see one another method that is called a division method to convert the fraction into decimal. So here we write the first number 5 by 2. What exactly does this mean? This means that I have a numerator 5 and I am dividing it with 2. So to divide 5 with 2, what I do is, I just write 2 to the 4 and I am left with a remainder of 1. We have learned till this. Now, I have still a remainder of 1 but I have to completely get one answer. I should have something like 0 over here or it should be completely divisible. For that, what I do is, I put here 10. How do I get it? I just put a dot here and add one zero. 5.0 or 5.0 is same as 5. So I am not changing the number. The number still remains the same. As I have put a point over here and got a 0, borrowed this 0 down, I have to add a point in the question also. Add a point in the question also. Now 10, it's like 2, 5s are 10. And this got cancelled out. And I have the value of 2.5. So 5 by 2 can be converted into decimal with this method 2.5 also. Let's try and verify this. Is it the correct answer? How do we verify it? We take our original method of multiplying it with 5 and trying to get the denominator of 10. Here also I have to multiply it by 5. This gives me 25 divided by 10 and that is 2.5. The next one is 2 by 5. So here 2 is divided by 5. Now if you see here, I cannot divide 2 by 5. It's like 0 which gives me 2. To go ahead I am adding a dot. This gives me 2.0 which is same as 2. I get to 20 over here. And then it is like 2 for the, uh, sorry, 5 for the 20. So the answer is 0 0.4. Let's try and verify this. 5 to convert 5 into 10, I have to multiply it with 2. So I multiply the numerator also with 2. This gives me 2 to the 4, 5 to the 10, and the answer is. Point four. So there is also one more method for by which you can try and find out the uh, decimal from the fraction numbers. We will just talk about here non-recurring fractions or uh, you can say a non-recurring decimals and the scope is limited only for the non-recurring. For the recurring, we will talk about the recurring decimals in the next few playlist or next few videos. So to summarize the same, decimals are represented with one tenths or one hundredths and so on. For writing in decimal notation, the fractions need to be converted into equivalent fraction with denominator in tens or hundred or one thousand or so on. And after converting the same, we try and find out like we can put the decimal at the correct place value. And another simple way of doing it is by dividing the numerator with the denominator. Try and put the point at the correct place and try and get the zero down, borrowing the zero down and get a complete value. So this was, uh, uh, this was how we were trying to convert the fraction into decimal. Thank you.